Crews are knocking down what's left of the Didion corn milling plant after that deadly explosion in late May that killed five people and injured dozens more. Valina Jones has more on how the company is looking to rebuild. Crews are working on the final demolition phase at the Didion milling plant. It will be a step-by-step -step process that could take the day or the rest of the week before they can start rebuilding from all that was lost. I was super scared and I didn't know if I was going to get out of there at all. This site sparks a memory, one month old, for Colin Vander Gallian. The last thing I remembered was the harness around my waist and then they put me out and then they amputated my legs and passed me off the hole and then I went to UW Hospital. Vander Gallian was inside the Didion milling plant when a deadly explosion rocked the building back in May, leaving shockwaves across this community for weeks to come. It's not forgetting what has what has happened but the other part is really starting to build towards what the future is going to look like but it's a new sound today that diddy and milling hopes will provide a foundation for healing from here on out that final effort of what happened happened and now is kind of a new slate right the canvas is clean for us to to, to recreate that facility uh, and to come back in a different way it employs a lot of people and it's good for the economy. Neighbors are also happy to see the damage come down, but don't want the memories of that night to fade. Money is money, but lives, there's nothing more expensive than losing lives. Hopefully, everybody connected with the operation of the plant will never, ever forget this and make sure that this doesn't happen again. In Cambria, Valina Jones, WISC News 3. The investigation into the cause of the explosion is still underway. Right now, people are raising money to help the victims and the family members impacted by the explosion. The fundraiser began at 4 o'clock and it goes through 8 o'clock tonight. Files Supper Club in Randolph will give 100% of its profits to help the families.